Yeah. Well, he says in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God so that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Now, notice you are to put on the armor of God. Here's something you're going to notice, and we're going to bring this out the rest of the day. The Bible says, now that you're born again, okay, first off, to get born again, his spirit had to come into your spirit and recreate you, right? So now greater is he that is in you than he that's in the world. Is that right? Jesus said, when the spirit of truth comes, and he says, the world can't receive him because they can't see him. And he says, but you know him, for he is with you and shall be in you. You got that? So God... The Holy Spirit is in you. Then there's you. Then it says, we're told, even by Paul again, put on the armor of God. But he also says, put on the new man. And he says, when he says, put on the new man, he said, put off the old man. And that means outwardly. So when, notice, when he said, put on the new man, he said, start acting like the new person. Quit acting like the old person. See, that's putting off the old man. Putting on the new man is acting like the new person you are. But he's, notice he says, put him on. He didn't say put him in. Why? Because he's already in. Your problem ain't what's in you. Your problem is what's out here left of you. See, like I said, there's three. There's him in you. Then there's you. And then there's him that you put on. So you're like an Oreo cookie. <laughs> All right? You got God on the outside. You got God on the inside. It's just you in the middle. That's causing all the problems, okay? <laughs> now, so the key is to recognize that you have to put him on, and when you put him on, now you're also putting on the armor of God, which means what? See, if you don't get a hold of this, if you don't get a hold of the fact that you can be strong in his might, well, you will. You watch. I'll show you in just a few minutes. I will show you in a few minutes, all right? Because I was driving down the road, which... Tends to be where God talks to me a whole lot, okay? And he showed me something. And when I said it out loud, see, I was thinking it. But when I said it out loud is when I got it. That's when it clicked. And it, it has changed. I mean, I say everything, but I mean, it just, every, it's, it's something you know. And when I show you, you, you already know this. But it's going to click. And when it does, then you, you'll start to realize that you can do all things through him that strengthens you. Amen? That's what he said, that we can do all things through him which strengthens us, strengthens us. What does that mean? We're being made strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. All right? This is why it's so important that you get a hold of the fact that you have to take his power. See, if you're still worried about inner healing and you need this counseling, and you need that. Listen, I'm not saying that there isn't growth. There is growth. But your growth shouldn't be getting away from your past. See, that, that's not growth. Growth is you seeing who you are in Christ and moving into that. Amen. Your past no longer exists. Nope. Yesterday doesn't exist. That's why the manna only worked for one day. Every day you had to go get new manna. Why? Because it only lasted one day. Yesterday was yesterday. To, what you do for Christ today is what counts. You can't go back, well, yesterday I did this. See, I can't, I can't look back and go, well, you know, last two weeks ago, whenever it was, uh, we were in a meeting and all these people were there and all these people got healed, so I don't have to do anything, you know, for another three weeks, six weeks. It's not how you live. Every day. Why? Because the past no longer exists. And so you're, to do that, though, you have to take on his strength where you are now and recognize his strength is in you to accomplish whatever is necessary. Now, his strength is there, but it takes your faith to release it. Do you get that? By faith. Now, what faith means in this sense is that you have to believe his word Trust in him enough to actually step out and actually move into the things that he has promised. That means there comes a point where you 
have to look at that and you, and you got some pain or something going on in you and you have to go, no. I understand that pain is connected with this, but right now in the name of Jesus, pain, you will leave my body and I don't mean maybe. Amen. And then you put your foot down and I'm telling you, there has to come a strength where you settle it. And, you, and then you have to decide, I, I'm not bowing to that anymore. And when you do that, there will be a part where you have to push through. That's, that's a normal process. Of, let me tell you, the, now get this, the hardest part of the growth of a plant, it can be growing underground, but the hardest is when it breaks ground at the top. You don't see anything till then, even though it's growing, but the hardest push is to break through the crust on the earth. All the other stuff, it can work its way through, but that crust, it has to break apart. <clears throat> That's where you have to get to a place where you make that breakthrough and you go, no, I'm getting this. I did this years ago for myself and I had to do it with my foot at one point. There's different things that I had to deal with over time. And my wife would even ask, are you going to get in a healing line? Nope. Well, why not? Because I need to get this for myself. Was I in pain? You bet. Was I going through stuff? with You bet. But I knew if I couldn't get it for myself, I'd never be able to give it to other people. Come on. And I said, there's going to be people that come to me and ask me for help, and I've got to be able to get it for myself so I know I can get it for them. Why? Because if you can't get it for yourself, there'll always be that doubt in the back of your head of whether you can give it away or not. Now, I'm not telling you to wait till you're perfect to start. You start where you are. But you can start with your foot planted down and say, you know what? I am going to overcome this. Why? Because I was born to overcome this. Amen? Amen. All right, I got to stop.